Not just the living suffocates when the light goes off and on, the dead also swelter. The current erratic power supply does not just affect our homes and businesses, but the home of the dead and the business of the mortuary man. In today's episode of Dumso Diaries, we tell you the crestfallen stories of mocks suffering from the intermittent power cuts. The recent electricity woes have taken on a new urgency, posing unprecedented challenges for private mocks. The relentless power cuts have triggered an alarming issue that goes beyond just inconvenience, but the rapid decomposition of corpses. The city mock is among several mocks in Kumasi, bearing severe economic challenges as a result of the intermittent power cuts. Kwame Ousueje Jay is a mortician at the city mock limited. The company is left to spend so much on fuel. The situation is affecting our business. Something must be done for us to benefit. Families complain. We have to work extra now to keep the bodies. Bodies are decomposing more rapidly than usual due to recent power disruptions. Kwame explains how frustrating it is to perform his duties. we do suffer a lot as attendants. The outage keeps the body dry, which is not what we expect. It is like losing the eyes or meat bought from the cold store. The bodies are infected and they are not well preserved when the light goes off. The situation presents grieving families with a difficult decision to hurriedly conduct funerals while adding additional stress, emotional torture and significant monetary strains to their already challenging times. Kofi Odro explains the challenge families go through. The plant sometimes refuses to function. The bodies are not well kept due to the outages. It's destroying our businesses. Families get frustrated any time they get here to see their bodies dry. Moktishian Kwame Jay is pleading with authorities to provide a load shedding timetable to help enhance his work. We plead with government to do something about the intermittent power cuts. We want something to be done as soon as possible, at least a timetable. For Joe News, Nana Bwachidankwe Yadum, Kumasi.